yeah, not a bad size one as well. I can't believe it. It was only about, I don't know, 20 yards out. Good evening. You join me on a beautiful summer's day. Well, not quite. It's a bit grey, but I don't mind too much because for the species I'm after tonight, the, the more overcast it is, the better. The sea's quite big. There's a bit of colour in the water and I'm on a remote beach in Dorset. The species that you get down here range from most of the rays. We've had spotted rays, formback rays, undulate rays and small eyed rays down here. But also, it's quite a good spot for cod. You get some decent bass down here. Bull huss, big conger eels and the usual bits and pieces. So I had a little bite on one of my rods a minute ago but nothing really really happened after that I just reeled it in nice little uh, small light ray on the small side but I think it was probably wasn't my first cast so it's not the first cast cursed but hopefully a good sign of things to come so I'm going to chuck it back but yeah cool little thing so this is why this is why we love fishing. I had a bait out about probably not even 20 yards out. Uh, big cuttlefish bait. And I, all of a sudden my rod fell on the floor. I thought it was a bit of weed, but believe it or not, my first cod, of, well, of the season, should I say, not of the year. Yeah, not a bad size one as well. I can't believe it, it was only about no, 20 yards out. Oh. Oh, there we go. Ah, morning. It's about 6 a.m. Slept pretty well actually. Apart from a fox kept approaching the tent while I was sleeping scraps of bait around my beach shelter so I think it was interested in that. I kept shining my torch up at the hill behind me and I could see it, the reflection of its eyes. Um, it was quite a confident little thing, it came right up to the shelter at one point. Anyway, definitely need a coffee. Probably should have had one before... before uh, <laughs> probably should have had one before pressing record. So, can still talk. This is what I had to contend with yesterday. Awful kelp. Put these roots on them that just, once you get your line caught up in it, that's it. Take that to the tackle shop to get it recycled. My mate should be joining me in probably three hours after he makes the long walk down. And yeah, it'll be quite interesting to see what, what gets caught today. I think I must have caught this one on the way in. I nearly put the feathers on this morning, but I thought there was probably a bit too much color in the water, but apparently not. I think I'm going to have to apologise to my mate Steve who kindly loaned me his fishing rod last year. The amount of times it's been pulled off the tripod. This time, not the, not the biggest fish in the world, but definitely one of the coolest. Whee. Definitely something on here. Definitely isn't a ray. It is a male black green. Some cool colours on it, you can tell it's angry because you can see the stripes. So I just had a text to say Keith's on his way down. He uses slightly different tactics to me, usually smaller baits, so he normally attracts the more unusual species. Hopefully he's got his electric trolley with him. 
otherwise it might take him a little while to get down here. As I say, it's a very, very long walk. It's very hot now as well. Keith turns up and within... How long have you been there? Not long. About half hour fishing. Caught a bream and now into possibly another one. Or a red mullet. Oh, a red mullet! <laughs> in there. The only ray I haven't had down here. Nice. Lost for, lost for words a little bit after that. Absolutely over the moon with, with that blonde ray. Decent sized bass, just picked up a big mackerel fillet in the gutter. It's getting a bit too much with three rods out, so I've dropped down to two now. I've just got two in the gutter, and after I turn this light off, it'll be pitch black until I get a scream and run. So, doesn't really make for a good video, but it does make for good fishing and potentially a good bass. So. I'm pretty sure Keith fished all the way through the night. I don't know how he does it. Sort of absolutely. There's not even a word for it. Oh. It's first light. I should really get up and chuck a bait out. I just... Day three, morning two, I smell, I'm tired, I'm hungry, I ran out of water last night, and there's a long walk back to the car. I had a really good night's sleep actually, Keith fished all the way through the night by the looks of it, so I'd be interested to see how he got on. So I can see he's got a campfire going as well, so a bit gutted I missed that, but to be honest, after the first night I was absolutely, yeah, I was done. Yeah, slept pretty well. So, just packing up all my rods. Pulled in my big bait that I had close in. Another chunk of bass. All of a sudden, my line was just shooting from right to left. It's like, what's going on here? Yeah, nice size one. Happy with that. I can't believe that, I was literally just bringing my rod in to pack it down and I must have picked it up as it took the bait. So all of a sudden the, the rod tip just arched over and I, I wasn't actually 100% that I had a fish on, I thought maybe it was a bit of kelp. Then all of a sudden my, I could see the shock leader from my line out in front of me and all of a sudden it was just moving to the left. I think, right, there's definitely a fish on here. Yeah, I, I don't know what it weighed but Decent sized bass on, on fresh mackerel early in the morning, just before just thinking about walking back to the van, so happy days. Thanks for watching if you've watched to the end. A bit more exciting than usual maybe, possibly, it depends what you're into. But at least I did find a few fish at last and proved to some of you doubters that I do actually catch fish sometimes, believe it or not. 
But anyway, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Thank you.